Hello, 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 everyone. It is Teresa from Teresa Silhouette Spot for All Things Art, where I love sharing art from my heart and teaching you how to create some joy in your life through simple art projects. How is everyone? I have this really cool every woman um, canvas I'm going to paint today for you guys. Uh, if you hit the subscribe button, you will be notified every time I go live or post a new video. And also, if you look into the description, there is a link to get the tracer and the supply list for this. And the supply list lists the colors that you need for this paint, um, the brushes, and the canvas. So I'm going to turn you guys around and we will get started. So here we go. So I have out a couple of colors of paint. I'm going to wet my brush. I'm just going to give it a little dry on paper towel. I've already traced my um, design onto here and now I'm going to just start going in and painting in the background. I am going to be careful, but you do not have to be so perfect when you are painting with acrylic paint because you can go back and fix it. And I am now using a combination of the light pink and this magenta, or um, actually I think it's called, um, what is this one? Oh, Royal Fuchsia, yes. Because I don't want my background to be solid, but basically you can paint your background whatever color or however you want. Sometimes it's fun, I will take my background and I will put some stencils on it. But I'm just dipping my brush into both colors of paint and I want my background to be a little bit textured and have many, many, many variations. Oh, got something on there. Of the pink and the white and combinations of both. So I'm just going in here. I'm using my brush on the chisel edge, which means I'm standing up in order to get into the nicks and crannies. I may even, when I get towards the end, put in a little white, we shall see. But for now, you can see how I'm creating a little bit of texture here to the background of this art project because I'm not using just one solid color. I'm using both pinks, and like I said, I might even come in and add in some white. I'm gonna be a little careful around this arm. And there we go, I'm going back in. It's important when you're blending that all your paint is wet. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna pick up some paint. I'm also gonna do my edges. You can do a fun edge, you can leave your edges white, whatever you choose to do. I'm always mixing it up. Sometimes I do something fun, sometimes I leave it, Sometimes I like it to match, so it all depends. And again, I'm just using a combination of this Royal Fuchsia and this, um, I think it's baby pink that I have. Oh, bubblegum pink. But really what you want, you want two different pinks. Or you, if you just have the one pink, it's fine. Add some white to it to lighten it up. And that works just as well. So I've done this one side, now I have to come over here. Again, I'm using the chisel edge to get nice and close. And if you can see, I have a little bit of, a couple of hearts. I guess I have three hearts in here. You can paint right over them. I can still see my hearts. I don't know if you can. Um, if you wanna be able to see your hearts once you trace your design onto your artwork, you can just go over them again with pencil or a Sharpie because we're going to be outlining them and it's going to be fine. I'm going to switch brushes in a second. You just want it a little bit darker so you can see them in there. Or, you know what? Don't put them in there now. And when you go back, you can trace them or add them in on by hand on the top of your art. Now on the bottom, I'm just going to do around her body because I'm going to wrap this canvas and I'm gonna paint on the bottom the colors of her outfit, top, 
tank top, bathing suit, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I got a little bit of paint all over me. Let's get that off. Okay, so I'm going to switch to a smaller brush because I want to get in here inside her earrings because that's really background, right? And again, like I said, this does not have to be perfect. We go in layers and steps. This way, if we want to fix something towards the end, we can. If we don't like the way one edge turned out, we can always fix it up with the next step. So now I'm going to come over, I'm going to grab a little bit of white. I don't want it too much. And I'm just going to add in, almost dry brushing, a little bit of white to my background. I just want to give it a little bit of a streaky effect, adding a little bit of highlight. I'm moving from my shoulder and I'm using a very light touch. I don't want to just move my arm and have it go every which way. And this just gives us a little bit more variation into our background. But again, if you want to do your own background your way, or if you want to use stencils on the background, it is totally okay. Your art, your way. You wanted to make your background a different color, you could do that too. Okay, so there we go. So now I have my background done. I'm gonna put both of these big brushes in water and I'm gonna clean this one. Now I'm going to um, start base coating her skin tone. And again, um, I'm using Fawn. I'm gonna lighten it up with a bunch of white and you can make your skin tone any color that you want. I'm using a little flat brush and I'm coming in here and I'm just going around her chest area and around her outfit. Now I could go and do the face at the same time, but we want our brush strokes to go the way something on there. We want our brush strokes to go the same way as the um, element does. So in this case, these brush strokes are going to go a little vertical. These ones are going to go up and down and vertical as well. And then the face ones, I kind of want to make the face brush strokes go rounded with her face. And again, I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to wrap around the color from the front of the canvas. So don't forget um, to hit the red subscribe button. You will be notified next time I go live or when I have a new video up on my YouTube channel. And um, in the description, you will find the supply list and the tracer for this design. Okay, so again, I'm using the same brush. I mixed fawn with some white, but you can do your own skin tone. And I could have painted this all at once, but I want my brush strokes on my skin tone to be curved. And I wanted the ones on her shirt to be vertical and I'm just right now base coating so we're gonna go in and we're gonna add some shading and some highlighting and I can still see her face but I have it nice and blocked out there picked up a little bit of this pink so I want to go over it a little bit and there we go okay wash my brush I like to give my brush a nice squeeze and a paper towel or some rag. I'm going to come over here to some nice fresh white. And I'm going to base coat her entire top with the white. If your tan is too wet and you're picking up some tan and getting it into your white, you might want to hit the pause button or um, dry it, grab a dryer or a heat gun and dry your art. Otherwise, you're good to go. We want our top, our bathing suit top, our tank top, whatever it is you think it is, 
on your every woman painting right here to be nice, fresh, white. Or you can make it any color you want, but in this case, I want it to be nice, fresh, white. Okay? So now I'm gonna pick up some yellow. I'm not even gonna wash my brush. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna start base coating in her hair. You don't have to pick up your brush. You can make yours a brunette. You can make yours black hair. You can make yours a redhead, whatever you want. But in this particular um, project and in the supply list, I provide the colors needed for this art. Okay, and then you can see over here, I went over a little bit with the pink, but once we get all our hair painted in and we do our shading and highlighting, you're gonna see how that doesn't matter. Okay, so we did that part. We come down here. The flower's gonna go in last and then it's gonna touch up whatever we did here. And I'm just base coating in our woman's hair. When I go in to add some shading in our highlighting, again, we're going to want our brush strokes to kind of match the way the hair is flipping. I need a smaller brush to get into these little points here. So I'm just going to do that little corner, and that little corner, and that little corner. Okay, there we go. Oh, the one thing I should have done before, I should have done the headband white when I did the top white. So let's go in and do our headband now. And I'm just base coating the whole headband with this nice bright white. I have a little bit of yellow in there, but that's okay because when I do my second coat and when I do my headband again, we're gonna fix all that, okay? All right, so let me wash my brush. Come back here to my skin tone color. And now I wanna smooth all this out. Okay up some more white, mix it up over here, and again, smooth all this out. There we go. And these are just suggestions. Um, you can do your hair, your skin tone, whatever color you like, whatever you want. Okay. Some of these light colors always need two coats. That's why the first time around, I'm just color blocking and then I'm coming back in and getting in all my details. Okay, wash my brush again. And now I'm gonna go back to my yellow, but this time I'm gonna pick up yellow and a little bit of this yellow ochre. Because I want, like the background, I want my hair to have different tones to it too. So as I pick up the yellow ochre, I'm using my brush on the chisel edge and I'm pulling in some of this other color yellow, and in this case, it's more of like a pale yellow or like a straw color. And this is giving different um, highlights, low lights to the hair. So I'm picking up the bright yellow and the yellow ochre, and I'm just using my brush 
creating like little like comma strokes or apostrophes, smiley faces, frowns. Got a little bit on there. And I'm just coming in here because we want a variety of color. Can you see that? We have different varieties of colors in there for the hair. I'm going to wash my brush. And I'm going to go back to my liner brush again. Okay. So the first thing I want to do with my liner brush is I want to come in here and I want to paint her sunglasses. Now this is a good trick. If you're new to painting, eyes can be very difficult and eyes can make or break your um, art project. So this way, we put on sunglasses and we don't have to worry about eyes. It's also like sometimes I'll tell my painters, well, if you make a mistake, put another flower or leaf over it. You don't have to worry about it. And now I'm just going in with my liner brush and I'm blocking out certain sections because I'm going to be adding in some black stripes up here to her headband. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing down here, my second coat. I'm just coming in here and blocking out the white. This way my where I'm going to do my black stripes is dry and I don't have to worry about it, but I do want to give my white a second coat. You'll notice I hop around a lot and that's because while I'm waiting for one section to dry, I can be over here working on a separate section. You can do that or you can keep following along. You can hit the pause button, whatever you want to do. So I didn't put a color out. So what color should we make her earrings? I don't know. I need to do her lips. So I'm going to need a little bit more um, dark pink. I have plenty of light pink. And I'm going to get my light pink. And I'm going to do the little opening in her mouth with my liner brush. And this is where our painting really starts to come to life as we start adding all these details to it. Did you notice I get a little bit quiet when I'm trying to concentrate? just want to come in here and fill in her lipstick around her mouth if you don't love it and you need to do it over wait for it to dry and then come back because if you keep trying to fix it It'll grow and grow and grow and grow, and before you know it, your lips are giant. So, okay, I have my lips in there. And now I'm going to start with my black details. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to pick up some black, and I want to paint inside the sunglasses. one side they are different shapes because this one eye over here is being covered by her hair so you can't see this side of the sunglasses the sunglasses are there oh I forgot the little bridge and I grab some white went a little bit thicker so there are her sunglasses come 
I'm going to go back to the black and I'm going to start doing in the little stripes of her tank top or her bathing suit or whatever it is. It can be whatever you want it to be. And again, you don't even have to do it these colors. If you want to do it pink or brown or purple, totally up to you. I'm just using this little liner brush. I'm trying to be careful. But again, if you get black where you don't want it, wait for it to dry. It'll take a couple of coats of the white to fix it, but you can totally fix it. You might want to put another one down here. It seemed like I had too much white going on down there. So I just came in here and added another little stripe. Okay. Right, then I'm going to make her earrings black too. I'm just going to follow the big hoop around and then come in here and fill it in. That's one. And the same thing with this side. This other earring is all hidden back in there in her hair. So you're not gonna see the whole thing. So there's her earrings. Got her sunglasses, we have her earrings. And I just wanna pick up, I'm gonna get a little bit of this, the regular brown from before. And I'm just gonna slightly, slightly here. Shade in her nose. Okay, we had a little bit of a curve, and a little bit of a curve, and then it's just a little bit highlighted there for her nostrils. Okay, make it look, I could do a little bit around here if we wanted, but we don't have to. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the black and I'm gonna start adding in the stripes to her headband. Okay. This is going to have the flower here, so I'm not going to worry about that because our flower is going to overlap our headband. So this line here does not have to be perfect. And then we just put a little bit down here in the corner. I'm going to let that dry. Now that I have my liner brush, actually I'm going to pick up my smaller flat brush. And I'm going to start layering in the hair again. I'm picking up both colors. One corner in one color of the yellow, one corner in the other color of the yellow. Oh, picked up some black there. I'll fix that. And we just want to make our hair different tones and different shades and following the flip and the curls of our hair. Ooh, we did the same thing 
a little bit of the bright yellow, a little bit of the yellow okra, and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just add in some texture. I'm just curving my brush around, come into the corner here. And we just want a little bit of texture up there on her hair and a little variation. Okay. All right, wash my brush. I'm going to go back to my liner brush. I'm going to pick up some white paint. And I'm going to start adding some highlights. A little bit of highlight to her neck her cleavage, her arms, a little bit to the earrings. I'm going to put in some white highlights to her hair. We want to kind of follow the shape of her updo here. I'm going to give her a little bit, no, I'm not going to do that, they're covered. So back to my, I'm going to clean my brush. I want to give a little, little bit of glare on her lips. And you can make her hair appear to be as curly as you want, depending on how many of these lines you put in here. And then I'm going to go back to my black, and I'm going to start adding in some outline. So these outlines do not have to be perfect. We just want it to a little bit highlight. Or actually, I mean accent the outline of her body and her hair. See how that just makes everything pop? Some of my lines are broken lines. Some of my lines are complete lines. Oop. I'm going to have to fill that in because I went a little bit off there. All right. So far, so good. I'm going to use this liner brush. I'm going to come up in here. I'm going to fill in some of this in here where I swooped up a little bit too high. See, that's what I mean. When you have a acrylic paint, you can come in here and fix anything. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little bit of these yellow streaks in here with just the plain bright yellow. And the same thing up in here. I'm just giving her hair a little bit of texture. And I'm also waiting for my headband to dry so I can come in there and do my flower. Okay. So now I have these hearts on here. I didn't really pull out another color. I guess I could. Um, let's just lighten it up a little bit with this yellow. So I'm mixing up some of the um, yellow ochre and the pink. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add in my hearts. There's one. You can make these white. 
I'm actually going to add some white highlights to them. You can leave them out, whatever you want to do. Grab my liner brush again. Grab my white paint. And I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight to my hearts floating around out there. I'm going to pick up this magenta and I'm going to come in here and I'm painting in the base coat to my flower. Just painting in a circle. It does not have to be perfect. As a matter of fact, we don't want it to be perfect. We want it to have uneven edges. We don't want it to be a perfect circle. All right. I'm going to pick up some white. I'm going to brush it in there a little bit. And then we want to let that dry for a second. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do for that. Let me grab my heat gun for this. Another thing I want to do, I want to grab my brush. I want to outline my hearts. And I am outlining them a little wonky on purpose. I like the look. You can leave yours. It's up to you. I like the way it pop. I like the way they curve over. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take a little bit more of this Royal Fuchsia and I'm going to do all the petals on my flower. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick up the Royal Fuchsia and I'm going to come in here and I'm doing little comma strokes with the Royal Fuchsia. I'm following the circle and I'm putting in these little comma strokes. Okay? And I'm going to wash my brush. Then I'm going to go to the light pink. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just picking it up on my liner brush. And I'm putting in these little comma strokes. Mm -hmm. Wash my brush. And I'm going to do the same thing with the white. Pick up some nice fresh white. And I'm going to come in here, following the shape, with these little comma strokes. And I'm adding in some white to my flower. And then I'm going to use the back of my brush in the yellow to add in the flower center. And there we go. The last thing I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to put a second coat on her glasses. And a little bit fresh white, a little bit of my white up in here faded. Put a little bit more white in there. Okie doke. I think that'll do it. So, 
Let me turn you guys back around. So here we go. I hope you enjoyed this fun tutorial of every woman. And uh, don't forget, you can grab the tracer and the supply list down below in the description. Thank you.